Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to alter table in SQL Server by using alter statement. So we will do three tasks here. How to add a new column to the existing table, how to modify data type for existing column, and how to drop existing column from a table in SQL Server. So let's go ahead and start working on these tasks. First of all, connect to your SQL Server instance by using the SSMS. Once you are connected, you will open your database, go to the tables and locate the table. Here, we are going to use a DBO customer sale table. Now, we have different columns here. And if you notice that I do not have, this is customer table, I do not have street address for this table. So I would like to add a new column called street address. So how we will do that, we will say alter table and then table name. So provide the schema and then you have to provide the table name. And then you say add column name. In our case, it is going to be street address and then provide the data type. So data type can be worker 100 because it is varying for different customer will have a different length of uh, street address. Now, this is going to work just fine. Now, let's go ahead and execute it. It executed and we have the street address column added to the table. Let's select some data from this table and see what we have. Select start from. So, this is all null values added to the street address. So think about a scenario where you would like to have the street address not null. So you need to add a column. So this was the, if we did not define not null here, this is going to add as the null. So you can see that it will have street address. It can accept the null or it can accept the string, whatever you provide. So this was adding a column with adding a column. With null constraint okay now the next part what we would like to do if we need to add a column with the not null constraint so what happened then now let's consider instead of a street address we would like to have street address one and the same alter table table name add column name and then we say provide the data type and then we say not null so in that case, uh, if we run the query, it is uh, giving us an uh, error. So let's read the error now. This is a pretty long error. Let me kind of okay. Alter table only allows the columns to be added that can contain null, or have a default definition specified, or the column being added is a identity or time stamp column, or uh, alternately. If none of the previous conditions are satisfied, the table must be empty to allow addition of this column. So you see that we have the data in the table, okay? And the condition is false. We are trying to add a new column and telling, okay, add this one as a not null. So what will happen with the existing data? So if we did the last time we, when we added the uh, the street address column as it was able to accept the null values it added the null value and when we are telling no okay it do not accept the null so what it will put for these are all records so that's the problem so we have to have some values so we can say let's uh, go ahead and say default and uh, I'm going to use uh, just the space here for now and uh, execute now if we go ahead and take a look a new column will be added and now you can go ahead and update the values for existing records and when you're gonna insert the new value you have to provide the value for this column so because it is the not null this is how you will do it now next so uh, this was first test second is the how to uh, change data type of a column Here in this uh, table, uh, DBO customer, we have first name, that's worker 10. So it means it can accept a maximum of 10 characters. Uh, and uh, let's take a look on the name. If we run it, we see that all the characters uh, here, I have five characters here. I have uh, 
eight or nine nine characters uh, and here I have six characters so if uh, I am getting a new customer customer and his first name consists of 15 characters I cannot put in this uh, table so I have to change the data type from worker 10 to worker 15 no problem so this is how we will do we'll say alter table table name and then uh, we have to say alter column column name first name and then provide the data type so worker let's say worker 30 this time and that's it now and uh, this this has to be not null because uh, right now we have we are accepting null values we don't want to accept uh, null values so let's go ahead and uh, run this one and see what happened this completed successfully and it it did not throw us error for normal because all the values in this column were available so we just uh, modify the length for the data type it was uh, from uh, worker 10 and we did it to worker 30 and also said okay we don't want to accept nulls anymore and uh, let's do that now and you see that worker 30 not null another part uh, i want to show you let's say if you have other column item sold and here i have values one two three and then i have one value two thousand now you can see that okay i am using integer data type and that's pretty big data type like it can save a lot of values and here is from the microsoft it can save more than two billion values so like like two point you can save this value in the, uh, the integer data type so that's the, the biggest value you can save now here i feel that okay i don't really need this uh, uh, data type how about i change to the small integer and save some storage so integer take four byte okay this will take two byte so i'm fine so i'm gonna go ahead and change so i can copy the same statement let's run this one and here we say items sold and small int i want to create some error and show you exactly what i'm trying to achieve here now the max value we have here is 2000 and if we will take a look on the data type with the small int we can save this value it is 32000 that's the max number you can save so we are okay with that we should not be having problem okay because does items sorry spelling mistake now if i run it completed successfully let's uh, refresh the columns and we see that we have items sold small integer now that's just fine and the, the values are saved as it is but now if i will try to change to some data type that's smaller let's say i have a data type tiny int and i will I can save from 0 to 255 that's the max it take me only one byte to save the value but if I will try to change to the tiny int what is going to happen tiny int here run it and you see arithmetic overflow error for data type tiny int value 2000 cannot be saved in tiny int the max value is 255 so if you are changing from a data type let's say here remember we change from 10 to 30 no problem because it can uh, adjust it can all the values will fit without any problem but if there is a value in the column and you're coming down to the small data type that value will not fit and that's where you will get error otherwise if the values are um, they can adjust in that data type you will be able to make the change as we did the first time when we change from integer to small integer without any problem but when we came to the tiny int as there is a value of 2000 that cannot be saved in tiny int data type so this is how you will change the data type you say alter table and table name alter column and column and then provide the column whatever the name of the column and then finally you have to provide the data type let's do the last part of that drop the columns so think uh, in this case uh, we would like to drop uh, uh, country region 
or maybe let, let's drop these two extra columns that, that we just added. So we'll say drop table, uh, <laughs> sorry, you will say alter table and uh, bring the table name and say drop column and column name. If uh, you are dropping five columns, uh, you don't want to be just copy and paste and every time just change uh, the statement to say drop uh, this one, this one. You can always put comma here and just provide uh, the column names. Uh. The same thing uh, can be done uh, when you are adding uh, the columns. Uh, so you can have uh, multiple columns uh, defined uh, in the add. So here, let's say we said add a street name, and then you put comma and uh, you can say street address one virtual 101. See, that's it. So you will, uh, you can provide uh, the columns with the comma. So let's drop these columns. Okay. Uh, depend upon the the object uh, default uh, is depend upon the street one alter table column fail because of more object. Uh, so remember we have created a default constraint. Uh, so if uh, you have a constraint on a column, you will be dropping uh, the constraint first. Uh, and then uh, remove uh, drop in the column so that's an interesting scenario so we can say that select start from this dot objects uh, let's get that uh, the name of the constraint or even we can go to the columns here let me go to the columns constraints here so we have a default constraint name so the same way we are altering a, a table here we say alter table and the table name and then we'll say drop constraint and constraint name so drag it here once you drop the constraint fine no, no more constraint is available so we are good now we can run this statement to drop the columns so columns are dropped as well let's go back and refresh to show you and you see that we do not have street address one and street address columns anymore and uh, just uh, in case I was telling you, you can add multiple columns in one alter statement. So you say alter table, column, sorry, table name, say add column, first column name, whatever the name you want to have. Then uh, you will have uh, the data type for that column. And then uh, you have a second uh, column name, data type for that column. So let's run this one. So you will see it completed as well. So you can drop multiple columns or add uh, multiple columns in one alter statement and I hope you learn from here one thing as um, we are dealing with these scripts and everything I will suggest going to the techbrothersit.com and there is a tab here it's called the SQL server T SQL tutorial and if you are there I have put everything chapter by chapter this is chapter 5 I'm going to put the link for these scripts in the description as well but you can follow from here as well so this is the second um, um, topic in the chapter 5 so I am uh, planning like if you cannot watch the videos fine no big deal so I write the post and also make the videos so I, I have the plan to go all the way and in very detail uh, SQL server uh, real-time uh, tutorial thanks very much for spending time with me and I will see you guys in next video